Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install the HNCore custom firmware on your PlayStation Vita. So right here, I have a PS Vita 1000. If you have a PS Vita 1000 like me, you will need a memory card to install this custom firmware. If you have a PS Vita 2000, then you will be able to install it on the PS Vita's internal storage. So my PS Vita right here has airplane mode turned on. And this is because I do not want to install the updates. If you go into your system settings and then just go and start, um, we will need to check the system version just to see if we can actually get custom firmware. So we're just going to scroll all the way down. We're going to go to system, system information, and here is going to display our system software. So if yours is between 3.65 to 3.68, so this includes 3.65, 3.67 and 3.68, you will be able to install the custom firmware. If you are on a previous version, you might be able to get the 3.60 custom firmware or maybe some others. But if you are on 3.69, you will not be able to install this. So probably just watch, stop watching the video now. And when 69 comes out, I will make a tutorial on how to do it. So let's just go back. Also keep note, I've got my memory card plugged in right now and it's an eight gigabyte one. Also in system settings, you want to just tap on auto start settings and make sure download update file is turned off. If you have this turned on and you connect to the internet, your PS Vita will download the update and it will try to install it. So make sure this box right here is just unticked like that. Then we're just going to go back, scroll up, and I'm actually just going to turn airplane mode off now. And what we need to do is go onto network, Wi-Fi settings, and just make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi. Once you are connected to it, uh, mine right here is BT Home Hub 5, so I'm just going to tap on that. Then just connect. Now I'm just going to tap on it again. And once you've connected to it, put your password in, everything like that, you want to tap on advanced settings. Once you're in advanced settings, you want to scroll all the way down. And where it says DNS settings, you want to tap it and make sure you select manual. Next, go to primary DNS. And you want to type in this exact number. So 212.47.229.76. Once you've typed that in, tap the black arrow and that will be it. Make sure proxy server is set to do not use and the MTU settings are on automatic. Then just tap on OK. Now we're just going to tap on back, back again, and now we can sign into our PlayStation Network account. So what we're going to do, just tap on it here. We're going to click on sign up. So you might already have one in. If you do, just put in your password. Um, I haven't added mine yet, so I'm just going to click use an existing account. You can create one if you wish. You must have an account on your device for this to work. So I'm just going to put mine in right now. Once you put in your um, email and password, you can just tap on next. It's going to say please wait and it's going to say your name. Say thank you, welcome to PlayStation Network. Just tap on OK. So now it's just going to start up like this. What you want to do is just tap on sign in. Now just tap on OK. It's going to say must update the system software. Just tap on update system software. And if you tap on update using Wi-Fi, you will get this error saying the latest version of system software is already installed. That is fine. We can just tap on OK and now just tap on cancel. So now we're sort of partially signed in. We're just going to tap on the arrow to go back. And now we're just going to close out to the main menu and just close it down. Now what we need to do is open up Content Manager. Just tap it and now just tap on Start. So now I'm going to go onto my computer. I'll show you guys what programs you need to get and then what to do next. Once you are on your computer, there will be two links in the description of this video. The first link will be QCMA. So on this page, you want to scroll all the way down and we want to get the Windows installer or whatever operating system you're using. If you're using Mac, OS X, um, I've got Windows 10, so I'm just going to click on the Windows installer. I'm actually just going to save this and I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder. 
Once this is downloading, we also need to get the auto hen cut installer. That will be the second link. If you go onto this GitHub page, it will be a zip file. So what we're gonna do, right click, and I'm just gonna save link as, and just save that in my downloads folder as well. So once both of these have finished downloading, you can go to your downloads folder, and you will be able to find them both in here. So first of all, we will need to install QCMA. So just double click on it. I've actually already got this installed, but it's really simple. Um, you just click yes a few times. Um, so it's just gonna unpack first of all. So you select your language, click on okay, click next, I agree. As I said, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to click on cancel, but you guys can set that up, it's very simple. And once it's installed, you can successfully just delete this .exe file. Next, we're just going to find our auto hencore zip file. We're going to right click and we're gonna select extract to auto hencore and it's just going to put it in a nice file folder for us. So we can double click on that and you'll be able to find these settings on here. But what we want to do before that is just click on your search icon and just type in QCMA. So here is mine, it should be a desktop app. If you click on it, it should start to load up. It might refresh your database and process a few video files. I'm not quite sure why it does this, but it shouldn't take too long. So it's going to say added um, some items to the database. That is fine. What we need to do is find the app down here. So as you can see, there it is. What I'm gonna do is just click on the arrow, right click, and just click on settings. In settings, we need to click on other, and this should be the advanced settings tab. We need to scroll down here, use this version for updates. We must apply custom and custom PSV to version. This is what you want to type in. So 03.690.000, exactly as I have it here. We can now just click on OK. You want to open it again, right click, and then go to quit. Once you've quit, um, we just need to open it back up. So just type it in again, QCMA, and just open up the desktop app again. It might refresh some items again, so we're just going to select it, right click, and go back to settings. So now we should be able to connect our PS Vita to our computer, so I'm just going to go back on it and show you guys what to do. So now we need to connect our PS Vita to our PC. You should be in the content manager, just like this. Um, it's just this app, and we're just going to tap on continue. So now we're just going to get our cable. It's connected to our PC via USB, and we're just going to plug it in to the bottom of our PlayStation Vita. Now once it's plugged in, we just want to tap on copy content. It should now connect to your computer. Let's give it a few seconds. It should look exactly like this. Have your computer's name and then your PS Vita system. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back onto my PC and I'll show you guys how to set this thing up. Okay, so now our PlayStation Vita is connected. We can just click on OK on the QCMA settings just to close out of it. Now back in your downloads folder, you should find the auto Hencore folder that we got. We want to double click on the auto Hencore.exe application. And now it's gonna say, choose your language. We're just going to click on OK on English. Now we should have done all of these settings. Our PS Vita is connected to our PC. Make sure this is ticked. Trim excess content from Bittersmile Demo. And when it installs, it will be 13 megabytes instead of 240, like it was when I updated this quite a while ago. Um, you can also tap delete existing files, um, but we only do that if something went wrong. So we're gonna make sure this is ticked and just tap on start. So this is the bit that takes the longest when it's actually downloading the Bittersmile um, package demo. So we're gonna give this maybe five to 10 minutes. I'm not 100% sure. I will tell you how long it took when it finishes, but I'll just pause it here and I'll be back when it's done. So it might come up with this message saying, how do you plan to connect your PS Vita to transfer Hencore? All we're gonna do is just click on USB. Now we're gonna click next. Now the QMCA is probably just going to open and refresh and it's going to say connected um, your PS Vita's username down here. So we're just going to give this a few seconds. So now it's going to complete and it says to finish your Hencore installation, connect your PSV to your PC using Content Manager. Um, go into Content Manager, choose PC, and all we're gonna do is just copy it across. So I will show you how to do this right now. And it's as simple as that. We don't have to set anything up. If you guys remember last time, it was really complicated. So we're just going to click on OK. 
and we can now just close out of this. So back on your PS Vita, just very briefly, we're going to look for copy content and we need to copy it from our PC to our PlayStation Vita. So we're just going to tap on that, then go to application, go to PS Vita, and it's going to come up with Hencore. And as you guys can see, we have got the 13 megabyte one. So we're going to tap it, make sure it's ticked and just tap on copy, tap on OK. And now we're going to give this a few seconds to copy across. It shouldn't take too long, um, so let's just wait for it to complete. Okay, so once it has done, we can tap on cancel. We can tap on back, back again. And now we can tap on back once more, and we can actually just close out of this. So if we look on our home screen, we will find it. Now I'm just going to disconnect it from my PC and I'll show you guys how to install it. So now let's just tap on Hencore Bubble and we're just going to tap on Start. Now we just tap on Yes. It's going to do this kind of weird colour thing and then it's just going to open like normal. What we actually want to do is tap on Install Henkaku, just press on X. It's going to say Installing Success. Now go down to Install Vita Shell and also press on X. Now it's just going to start downloading um, the Vita Shell File Explorer for us. Just give this a few seconds. And then when it says Success, it's going to refresh and we can now press X to exit. So now we've got the two main applications that we can use for completely modifying our PlayStation Vita and installing all types of emulators, games and custom apps. There's one more thing we need to do just to set this up. We need to go into settings and just tap on it. Go into Henkaku settings. Make sure enable PSN spoofing is ticked. Go to spoofed version and we need to put 3.69. Now we can just tap on the green arrow, go back back again and we should now be able to sign into our PlayStation Network account. So that is pretty much it for this video, um, I really hope this helped, I had to reset my whole PlayStation from Vita just so I could make this video, um, so yeah if you guys could leave a like that would be really appreciated and this is the fastest way to hack your PlayStation Vita um, basically when you get it brand new. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.